Welcome back to another video from our backyard on this gloomy day. It's actually a little bit breezy, so please don't get distracted by the little microphone fuzzy contraption. Apple says it actually matches my little flavor saver here. She might be right, I don't know. But anyway, today I'm gonna get into this video with you guys. I'm gonna show you what little bit of surplus we have left. We actually have our plane tickets now. We're flying out of here on October 25th. So we are in the process now of selling the very last of our available surplus. If you go to the website, you'll see it all listed there. That list started, it was huge. It was really long. It was a long scrolling list. We've done really well. We moved a lot of animals and now it's just a couple little blocks of stuff. So anyway, before I get into that, I had a very interesting week. Obviously we come to you guys every week with a YouTube video every Saturday morning. What you see, is not everything that we do. We're not YouTubers. We're doing a lot of stuff during the week and some of those things include selling animals, shipping animals. We seem like we're going to FedEx every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're shipping boxes. It's just nonstop back and forth, just burning through gas. Gotta jump on the freeway and hoof it down there. But anyway, um, this week was interesting because we sent out our baby tentacled snakes that I showed in a previous video. Now, babies of those are new for me. I just used common sense and I kind of just came up with my own husbandry techniques, what I thought would work, and it has worked amazing. Those snakes are feeding like crazy. And so I shipped those animals out and I'm getting all this amazing feedback. Four different customers, four different states, my customers were ready, obviously. These are aquatic snakes, so they have their tanks ready with water. Uh, most of them had feeders already in it. And I got feedback from all four customers that those little snakes fed within a minute or two or five minutes of them introducing them directly from my shipping box into their tanks. And so I felt so happy when I read that kind of feedback. So what I'm getting at is that you guys see us once a week for eight minutes, 10 minutes, six minute videos. But in between that entire week, I am nonstop doing animal stuff. I'm feeding, I'm making sure animals are doing great so the customers have really good results. And clearly by reading all of these responses, um, my customers are super happy. We still have six here. Two of the six are sold. Four of them might be sold. Again, you know how it is these days, you guys. I'm not even sure. But I added feeder fish to that tank after I shipped the last box and they fed right in front of me and within like 15 minutes everything was gone the fish were completely gone so I'm really stoked I wasn't sure how those babies would do but obviously they're doing really well so that's enough of me you guys I want to show you some of the really nice surplus animals we have if you're interested in any of that stuff go to dmexotics.com go to the available page and then reach out to me and so let's get started all right, you guys, the first one is this little hatchling Highland scrub python. I have not showed this one before. It is very small. It is doing extremely well. It has an amazing appetite. You can see the gold, the gold spots down along the lower ventral side there. Amazing to get these so small. This animal's eating frozen thawed and it is really cool is one of the smallest that I think I've ever had besides the babies that have been hatched here, of course. And so, really nice animal. And it's a male. <laughs> and I've never held it before, believe it or not. This is the first time. Still has a little bit of that red hatchling color, but it's fading away. So I don't want to hold this snake too much because I just fed it last night, a frozen thawed fuzzy mouse. All right. So I have this green phase female nigerceps, Boiga nigerceps. I also just fed it yesterday. It still has food in its stomach, but this animal came to me in June. So we've had it already for a while. Treated inside and out. It is probably the greenest nigerceps I've ever seen. Just an amazing looking animal. 
I sent pictures of this to a couple of customers and for whatever reason, they held out for captive bred nigriceps, which I didn't really have a whole lot to provide for those. But amazing animal, super well established, pretty easy going, mild mannered, excellent eater on frozen thought. And it's a girl, which is a huge bonus. But that's crazy to see a nigriceps that should be orange, this green. Very, very cool. Okay, and I have this Boiga cyanea, green cat snake. This is a male, and he is like, um, he's he eats, but sometimes he's just a little bit finicky and he wants some scenting or whatever. Obviously, I got this one to take a frog scented, frozen thawed small mouse. But this guy's been with us for, gosh, he was in the facility already for like half a year and then he's been with me already for a couple of months. So doing really well. Just for whoever ends up with him, they may have to do just a little bit of scenting here and there. But it is eating rodents. It's not, it loves lizards, but of course, I'm not, I'm not feeding it lizards anymore. I'm, I got it onto rodents but sometimes it wants some scenting, so. Not quite full grown, but should be breedable at this size because this snake is already, already beyond three feet, so. Nice. Okay. So we also have this baby captive bred Boyega cyanea. This one was from Europe and no longer doing assist feeding, but it is holding out for lizard scented frozen thawed pinkies, but it is feeding on its own. So just still just a little bit of a uh, little extra work, but it should graduate soon. And I think it's a girl. And I have two female yellowtail Kribos. I was originally gonna keep these for myself. I actually had these set aside because of how much yellow there was. The yellow is almost mid body on both of these animals. So I held them back with the intention to hold on to them. And of course, to give the best possibility that this basically be like a bicolored animal with the yellow all the way starting mid body like that but amazing feeders as you can tell they are super robust they're growing weekly every time i pull them out they're bigger and bigger and they seem to prefer frozen thawed over live so i have a whole freezer full of frozen thawed rodents and so i've just been feeding them just everything Anything and everything. So these are on the website as well. I have them at a very, very nice price. Two girls, yellowtail Kribos. And they're growing fast. Somebody buys these two weeks from now, they'll already be a couple more inches longer. <laughs> they're growing so fast. I'm actually really surprised right now because they're even bigger than what I thought they were a week ago when I was cleaning cages. So really awesome snakes. They will grow to be very, very good size, but they're pretty chill. I could, I could get them fired up if I really wanted to, but they're, they're pretty easy going. So super awesome snakes. Go to the website, you guys, check it out. The price is insane, in my opinion, especially compared to everything that I see. So I think that's gonna be about it that I'm gonna show you guys in this video. There still are some more things. Um, like I said, I think we have four baby tentacled snakes still. If you're interested, um, they're not really spoken for as far as I'm concerned. So there's four left of those and 
We have a couple of adult things, like we have an adult pair of Marauke scrub pythons. They're tame, but the female is deep in shed, so maybe I'll show that pair in another video. Uh, we have the pair of king rats that uh, I showed the female, I think, last week. Probably going to put those on the chopping block as well, but the male of that pair is deep in shed. So, again, maybe we'll do another video like this in the coming week or two. Uh, October 25th, we're out of here, so we have about three weeks of, of good shipping. Some amazing things going on in Indonesia. I know from previous videos, people got on me in the comments and said that there's a multitude of people doing exactly what I'm doing. I beg to differ, because that is not true. But anyway, uh, one of the big projects that we are working on overseas in Indonesia is coming to fruition. It is almost complete. I can't wait until it's 100% done. We're like 99.9%. .9%. Can't wait to announce that to you guys. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of stick to my mantra of under talk and over deliver. I'm super excited about it. I think you guys are gonna be also Maybe, maybe not, but all that matters is that I'm excited about what we're doing. So uh, it's gonna be really cool. So that is about it, you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.